many, many, many things I love about summer is the fact that if you have a patch of dirt at your house or apartment, you could actually grow zucchini. Now, zucchini is most prolific between the months of June and August, and they're best harvested when they're between four and eight inches long. Any bigger than that, the skins become tough, the seeds become too large, and the flavor, well, it becomes flavorless. So if you're binge watching this summer on Hulu and Netflix because you're in a show hole and you're ignoring your zucchini vines in the back, and you go on and you find this great big green monster, don't fret because I am not afraid of this big green monster and neither should you because you can do things with this right now instead of throwing it in the trash. You can make zucchini butter. You can make zucchini cobbler. You can make zucchini chocolate cake. You can make zucchini squares. If you're wondering what you can make with this big green monster for later, then you could actually make some zucchini bread. It's actually very easy. You can put it in the freezer uh, and you can enjoy it all fall season and even into the winter season of January and February. So if you have those annoying friends that like to come over to your house unannounced on a Sunday, you'll be the star when you pull out this zucchini bread, slice it up, put it on a hot pan with butter, saute it and serve it on a plate. And you say that you're giving them zucchini French toast and you can top it off with whatever fruit filling that you have in the refrigerator. So hopefully this encourages you not to ignore your poor zucchini vines out in the back. And if you are binge watching Hulu and Netflix because you're in a show hall and you go on and you find this, don't throw it in the trash because you can definitely make something with this right now and something that you can make and freeze for the future. And I will see you very soon. I want to give you guys a tip of how to make your salads at home correctly. And one of the main mistakes that people make at home is that they don't dry off their lettuces. And so basically the dressing will not stick to the to the greens. So I have some greens right here that I washed in here. And so now I'm going to spin it. Now you don't have to use this dandy machine that I'm using, but I wanna show you how much water, even though I had really drained the water out, look how much water is inside the lettuce and when I washed it. And I want to show you that again, I'm going to do it one more time and you're going to see how much more water is still on the lettuce. When you get the water off the lettuce, it will allow for any dressing that you have to attach itself. So you'll have this beautiful, dry, beautiful green that yeah, any dressing you put on to it, it will attach to it. So I hope this will help you guys learn how to make lettuce at home and eat more salads.